If you've ever stood near a brass band, watched a trumpet shimmer under stage lights, or marveled at the warm, commanding sound of a French horn, you've already experienced the magic of brass. This golden alloy has shaped the voice of orchestras, jazz ensembles, and marching bands for centuries. But what makes brass so uniquely suited for musical instruments, and why isn't it replaced by other metals? Stick around as we uncover the science, history, and sonic secrets behind brass, right here on History of Simple Things. To start, let's take a closer look at what brass actually is. Brass is an alloy, which means it's a metal made by combining two or more elements, in this case, copper and zinc. By varying the proportions of these two metals, manufacturers can produce different types of brass with varying degrees of strength, workability, and acoustic qualities. This versatility is one of the reasons brass has found its way into everything from doorknobs and plumbing to, of course, musical instruments. But why brass for instruments specifically? The answer starts with workability. Brass is incredibly malleable, meaning it can be easily bent, shaped, and formed without cracking or breaking. That's essential for wind instruments, which often require long, intricate tubing, flared bells, and complex valves or slides. Instruments like the French horn or tuba have coils and bends that would be much harder to produce if the metal weren't as easy to shape as brass is. Plus, brass retains its form well once shaped, making it not just easy to craft, but durable enough to last through years of rehearsals, performances, and transportation. Closely tied to workability is the weldability and solderability of brass. Wind instruments often need to be assembled from several individual pieces of tubing, valves, and fittings. Brass takes well to soldering, the process of fusing metals together using a filler metal. This allows instrument makers to create strong, airtight seals that are essential for maintaining tone and pitch. And when repairs are needed, Brass components are relatively easy to work with, making maintenance simpler and more cost-effective over time. Now let's talk about what really matters in a musical instrument, sound. Brass doesn't just look beautiful, it sounds beautiful too. It has excellent acoustic properties. It's dense enough to vibrate cleanly and consistently, producing a warm, bright, and resonant tone that projects well. This makes it ideal for instruments designed to be heard across large concert halls or outdoor arenas. The sound of a brass instrument carries, not in a harsh or tinny way, but with fullness and power. What's interesting is that brass instruments don't get their name from the material alone. They're called brass instruments because of how they produce sound. Whether it's a trumpet, trombone, or tuba, the player uses their lips to create vibrations, which travel through the column of air inside the instrument. The brass body amplifies and shapes those vibrations into the rich tones we associate with these instruments. In other words, the material isn't just a container for sound. It's an active participant in shaping that sound. Let's compare brass to a few other common metals to see why it's such a standout. Aluminum, for instance, is lightweight and corrosion resistant, but it's too soft and lacks the acoustic richness of brass. The vibrations tend to die off quickly in aluminum, producing a duller sound. Steel, on the other hand, is stronger, but much heavier, harder to shape, and doesn't offer the same warmth in tone. Its sound can come across as harsh or brittle. Copper, one of brass's main ingredients, is a better sound conductor than steel, but it's also too soft and expensive to be used on its own. Silver and nickel are sometimes used in woodwind instruments or for plating, but they come with a much higher cost, and their tonal differences are often subtle 
rather than revolutionary. Another important factor is corrosion resistance. Musical instruments have to deal with moisture from the player's breath, from cleaning, or from changes in humidity. Brass stands up well to corrosion, especially if it's properly maintained and lacquered. This not only extends the life of the instrument, but also preserves its tone and appearance. The thin lacquer or silver-plated coatings often applied to brass instruments provide an extra layer of protection without significantly affecting the instrument's resonance. Speaking of resonance, brass allows for precise tuning and consistent intonation across a wide range of notes. This is crucial for orchestral and band settings where multiple instruments need to harmonize perfectly. The structural integrity of brass helps it maintain shape over time, meaning an instrument won't warp easily and throw off its tuning. And in professional settings where even slight variations in pitch can be noticeable, that kind of consistency is invaluable. There's also the aesthetic factor. Brass is simply beautiful. Its golden color shines under stage lights and gives instruments a classic, timeless look. While this may seem secondary to function, the visual appeal of instruments does matter, especially in performance settings where presentation is part of the experience. And brass polishes up nicely, which makes it a favorite for marching bands, orchestras, and ceremonial ensembles. Let's not forget about tradition. Brass has been used for centuries to make musical instruments. From ancient Roman horns to Renaissance trumpets, the history of brass instruments runs deep. Over time, manufacturers and musicians alike have refined the designs and playing techniques with brass in mind. That long-standing relationship between material and music has created a kind of musical language. Players know how brass responds, what sounds it's capable of, and how to bring out its full expressive range. Fun fact, did you know that brass instruments aren't always made entirely of brass? Some high-end models are plated with silver or even gold to subtly change the tone or just give them a flashy finish, but underneath, it's still good old brass doing the heavy lifting. So the next time you see a trumpet blaring at a parade or hear the haunting call of a French horn in a film score, remember, there's more behind that sound than just skilled playing. There's the science and history of brass, carrying the notes from lip to air to ear. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.